Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. We have a beautiful day here to do a video, so I'm gonna take full advantage of that. I have been a busy bee lately, getting these campers ready to go for customers, finding their new homes and boats and whatnot, because I am the only salesman here, so that keeps me pretty busy. So uh, anyways, I'm here after hours. We're gonna check out what I have here. This is gonna be the 2075. It is a 2023 model. This one is already sold, but this is my most commonly sold pull behind at our dealership. It may not be the most popular, you know, nationwide, but this is the one that I sell the most of here at this uh, dealership. Like I said, it's a 23, 2075. It retails around, let's see, it starts out around $77,054 with all the factory options and destination charge that brings your total MSRP to $94,833. Now that's retail, that's the MSRP. You'll have to call me here at uh, Fish and Fun and ask for the BSRP pricing. That is Brad's suggested retail pricing. So it's a lot better than the MSRP, I'll tell you that right now. But uh, anyways, we'll just uh, take a little hike around the camper here. We'll view the outside first, and then we'll walk on to the inside. So here on the front, what you're going to notice is you've got three 20-pound propane tanks. Two are on deck at all times to be able to use, and then you have your little, you know, one just hanging out right here and not being used. So if you run out over here, you just swap them out. Go get that one filled and put it in its place. You have a spare. Right now, I'm pulling off of this uh, left side here. When you run out on this side, just flop that lever over to the other. But uh, also on the front, you're gonna see this Lippert automatic jack here. You just use this, uh, these arrows right here to raise it up, raise it down or lower it down, excuse me. Then you have your little pigtail here that you're gonna use to plug into the truck. These do take a two and five sixteenths ball, so it's a little bit larger than your standard two. Um, and then of course i have the propane door you know taken off so i can show you that so uh, anyways we'll go around this side and then we'll get over to the campground side so around all four corners you're going to see these electric stabilizers it's uh easy you just press a button one button's going to lower the whole front and then the uh other button's going to lower the rear stabilizers so there's no manual cranking or anything of that nature going on you just uh, simply hit a button also, beside that, you're gonna see the toy locks. So you can remove uh, that right there, strap it around your bikes or kayaks or you know your other toys that you need to lock down and make sure that you know thieves don't get their little five finger discount and you're ready to roll. So on this side, you're gonna see this little compartment here. This is what houses your batteries. You have one on this side and then you're also gonna have one on the campground side, what I call is the uh, passenger side. So through the factory, we went ahead and added this option. It is a $2,600 option, but uh, in my opinion, it's well worth it. Sure, there's cheaper lithium batteries out there, but it's a lot easier just to do it through the factory. So when you're, you know, buying a camper, you're not really paying $2,600 for them. These are the GoPower SunCycle lithium batteries. They are the 100 amp hours. So uh, yeah, that's plenty to keep this baby going. Then you just raise this right here, lock it back into place. Simple as that. That was one-handed too. And like I said, you're going to have your other battery compartment on the other side, same exact spot. This compartment right here is vented. This is where your uh, designated generator compartment is. So you can store your nice size generator in there, strap it down, and you're also going to have your main battery disconnect switch up there in the corner. Give you a little further back view here of the whole camper you're going to notice these huge acrylic double pane windows those are very nice to have they kick out very far letting a lot of natural light and natural air flow through i like these better than the glass ones because of how usable they actually are some people say that they scratch easier but glass busts so you get up against a tree limb you're either going to have a scratch or you're going to have a busted window i'd prefer the scratch It's mowing day. Uh, so over here, this is gonna be your little lock box. You can put some uh, things that you don't really care to get 
wet in here it's definitely not a dry box by any means if it's raining you know you're going to get water in there but it does have two little drain holes in the back so this is where you'd store items that you don't mind getting wet right below over here this is where you're going to find your body waste so uh, as far as tank capacities you're going to have 45 gallon fresh water tank capacity uh, 40 gallon gray and 40 gallon black so definitely some sizable tanks there should uh, lessen on your you know drop trips hang on somebody's pulling up maybe i should uh close the gate since we're closed and people won't come in after hours um anyways the body waste right here you got 40 gallons uh capacity on that this is where your main dump is for it so your trailer it's actually got the uh lippert i believe these are the lippert leaf spring uh axles so uh, that's going to be wrapped with your Goodyear Endurance tires. They definitely don't, you know, put the cheapo China Bombs on there. Got you some good tires on there to last you, you know, multiple years. Over here underneath, you're going to find your gray water drop. And again, that was 40 gallon capacity also. I, I, you know, it'd be nice if they had one that led to, you know, both where you could just drop them both at the same time, but they don't. This one's got the uh, gray on the back and the black on the front. This little cord right here, this is where you uh, drain your Truma Combi system. I think this needs to be trimmed back a little bit. Maybe they just forgot to do that because this one's shorter, but we'll get to that here after a while. This door right here. This is where you're going to find your Truma Combi system. So this is going to be your tankless water on-demand heater and your furnace all in one. Takes up less space, more conservative, and is definitely very quick at heating water. That's for sure. Because I'm actually getting this one ready and it, it didn't take long at all to actually get the water heated up. Once I found out that there was a bypass on it, it's down here. This right here is what I like to call the external hand warmer. When you have the furnace or the water heater going, it's going to be kicking out heat right here. In the winter time, that's very good for uh, warming your hands. All right, so you're going to have you a little storage compartment back here. And then you're going to have you an access door to all your water lines in case you know you must have spring a leak or something. All your campground connections are on this side. You've got your 30 amp plug in, city water connection, and black water flush. Then you're going to have your parking satellite connections also right here all grouped together. Outdoor shower for all, you know, my people that like to give the fellow campers a show. I'm just kidding. You can use it for, you know, washing your dog, rinsing off your feet if you got sand or mud on them. But um, yeah, so the uh, water pump is uh, going to feed this right here if you're pulling off the fresh water tank. If you're here you don't need to run the water pump on the back this is what i think is really neat about this camper check that out it's got the nice tailgate package added to it that is an added option on this model and we've actually had it you know customers wanting this on every single 2075 that we've ordered so it is a very nice addition to have if you're going to use it, you just hook up the uh, gas line and the water line that's right here to the back of this thing. Then you have an accessible sink and then you have your two burner cooktop right here beside it. So everything's nice and neat together. And then you've got plenty of countertop space to work with here for, you know, if you're filleting fish or cutting meats or just, you know, cutting up, you know, produce or something like that. You've got plenty of worktop space to do that. Also below you'll see this says Dometic. This is going to be your onboard fridge for the tailgate area. You also have one inside. But when you're done with it, you know, you just push this back in. Everything tucks away nice and neat. That goes back in also. All right, so on the top there, looks like I got to tighten that antenna on that backup camera. But uh, it does have a backup camera installed on the back. That is an added option so is the rear awning that you see it is a power awning and it has a nice led light strip at the end of the awning to light things up at night so you can see what you're actually doing back here very good idea to have i love that i think if i was going to get rid of my enduro you can actually see it in the distance over there i think i'd go with this model next 
I really like this one. So on this uh, campground side is what I call it. You have this massive side power awning. It is uh, automatic and it does have the LED light strip just like this one on the rear. So, you know, like I said, it lights it up at night. You can actually see what you're doing. And it also has auto wind sensing. So if it gets too windy outside, it's gonna roll itself back in. These lances are four season rated. They have a uh, underbelly pan that's closed in. So as long as you have that furnace going, it's gonna be supplying heat to uh, your holding tanks, your water lines and all that good stuff to keep everything warm and from freezing up. Also, if you notice at the bottom there, we're certified green, go earth. All right, so what do I need to hit on this side next? Well, we'll start right here. You've got the uh, torque lift glow steps. Uh, these actually do work. At nighttime, you can actually see where your steps are because they have these little glow in the dark stickers on them. My camper has that, and I think it's awesome. We've got a supporter potty door on this model, same as my camper. It's actually growing on me. It's uh, nice and insulated. So, and it also has a little shade that goes up too, block out all the peeping toms. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to unlock that. Okay, so I wanted to get this door unlocked for you so you can see it. You got your USBs and DC outlet in there. You can throw you a TV out here on this little mounting area. Plug it in over here. Or if it's an AC powered TV, you plug it in right there on the 110s. Uh, I've already showed you the trailer, the axles, and the, uh, let's see, the tires. So we'll uh, keep moving. This right here, they supply you a onboard like portable JBL stereo system that you can mount on the outside of the camper prevents you from needing speakers out here and needing to run in and out to change the radio channel or whatnot you've got a little portable one that mounts on the side there this right here is where you fill your 45 gallon fresh water tank and that's just about it over here up until this part look at this you got you a nice pull out table pull that out set it up at the campground you've got this awesome tray this isn't pass through because if you remember, you've got your generator compartment on the other side, but it is just about pass through. I mean, it goes deep in there. And this pull out tree make, or tray makes everything super easy to get to. All right, so also in this compartment, you're gonna have your light. You just press that in and out to turn it on and off. You've got this switch here, which turns on the LED lights on the front of the trailer. Then you have your stabilizers. Literally, like I said at the beginning of the video, you just hit these to raise them up and down. You've got you another solar port here on the side, even though this one already has one 190 watt solar. No, this one's got two, daggum. This one's set up right. So this one already has 380 watts worth of solar panels on it, but you can also plug in another one here on the side. And then this compartment, just like the other side, is where your batteries go. Like I said, this one has the uh, dual lithium battery upgrade. Let's go check out the inside of the trailer. Okay, so as we are walking in, I'm not going to, you know, sneak peek the rest of the trailer just yet. You have this massive dinette here at the rear of the trailer. I think this is what is really popular about this model is how massive this rear dinette is. It's nice U-shaped, you've got plenty of room for your whole family to sit here. And it also has a telescoping uh, pedestal where it makes into a bed. So you just use the cushions as filler for that. Up, up top here, I believe these are called like Euro style cabinets. Uh, name's not important. But they, what is important is it makes for a lot of extra storage. I mean, this camper has a ton of storage on the inside and outside which is very important for when you're taking the whole family. You need all of it, you can get, am I right? Look at all these. You can get a little secret passage back there in the back. Hide all your secret stuff back there. Little compartment up here. Got your uh, JBL system with the two speakers on the inside. And then I noticed if you hit zone B earlier, that's your base right there. That gets it banging in here. So up top, you've got a nice bit of countertop space. 
And uh, for all my fancy people, this is going to be your wine storage. How cool is that that they integrated wine storage into a camper? Have a couple 110 outlets, USB outlets, and a DC outlet over here. This right here is how you run the uh, Truma systems. So you've got your, you see that right there, the little camper van flashing. That's going to be where you can run the furnace. Over here, this little thermometer looking deal with the little, little wavy lines. That's going to be how you turn on your uh, tankless water heater. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All your light switches are back over here. Forgot to show you those. Got your key rack. That works perfectly for hanging all of your keys. Look at this. Bingo. Up top here, you're going to notice that you have your awning uh, switches. So you got extend, and then same for the back. You just hit the button. That little guy's going to go rolling. Check that out. While those are busy rolling out, I'll go ahead and show you the rest of this stuff. You got your uh, battery monitor. This is kind of like just your quick check. And then you have your more detailed one in up in the bed area. So check the batteries, fresh water, black water, gray water. It'll tell you whether it's empty to full. It goes by thirds. Water pump right there, that's how you turn it on if you need to pull off the fresh water tank. I know you're wondering about bugs getting in. Just raise that or slide that to the side and you got your bug screen then you just tuck it back away out of the way so uh all the windows also have that built in little uh, day shade night shade so you, you know nobody's looking in on you every single window is going to have that you got some massive storage over here beside the radio and then these compartments come out sideways and they are soft clothes. Can't sell them. If you look at all these little black vents, those are going to be your ducted heat. And then if you look up, you've got ducted air throughout this whole trailer, which I thought was nice. Okay, so uh, you have two smart TVs in this model. I believe they're the 24 inch models. Could be wrong on that. They might be 28, but I think they're 24. Um, or they might, you know, not be either. So I could be totally wrong on both. But anyways, they are smart TVs. They're powered by AC, not DC, and they swing. You can swing it towards you at the uh, dinette or swing it the other way. Although in the bedroom, you've got your whole other separate TV if you choose to add that option. All right, so we have made it to the kitchen. You have a single uh, dish uh, sink right there. Not a whole lot of countertop space here for prep. So you'd have to use your table over there or do you know your prep outside on that uh, tailgate package which I know mo mostly all of my cooking is outside of the camper so on that little black stone that I have all right so you have a two burner cooktop here this model does not have an oven so if you're really needing an oven they've uh, you know not added that on this one but you do have a microwave and that's hidden in one of these compartments real nice to keep it out of the way I'm sorry, I didn't even raise it up. There we go. Show you some storage. You've got your uh, cabinet lights, soffit lights, and this is where you would run your fridge on 12 volt if you wanted to. You would have to turn that power switch on and then turn it on on the fridge. A couple 110 outlets here. You could scoot this down, and then you could uh, put your coffee pot, cook, uh, crock pot, whatever kind of pot you got with you, you could plug it in right there. Pull out door. And of course, these are soft clothes. A little deeper one for all your pots and pans. And then your fridge is right next to the kitchen area. You're looking at your freezer. And then you have your, you know, regular refrigerator area. It is a sizable fridge. I believe it's five cubic foot. But it is three-way. You can run it on AC, DC, or gas. All right, so if you're still with me, we have finally made it to the bathroom area. It is a dry bath, meaning that the toilet is separated from the shower. So uh, you got this fancy little bowl here for your uh, sink. Running it right there. Underneath, you've got some storage. I just got hung up on the door there with the GoPro. 
little towel rack, toilet paper holster. You got to keep that on deck, you know. Uh, another uh, towel rack for your drying towels. There's our shower. So, like I said, this is a uh, dry bath, so shower is separated from the toilet. And your shower head, I noticed, actually has one of these. What was that thing called? I've got it somewhere. It's a shower miser. So it's a water saving system, basically. It'll recycle the water uh, back into the fresh water tank until the water gets heated. That way you're not wasting any water. You just turn it on like that. And then flip it back up for when you want it to come out of the uh, shower head there. But it is a very sizable uh, shower. Then you just use this and close it on up. All right, so I will close this door here. Got you a nice mirror so you can check yourself out. Okay, so we have made it to the master. Just kidding, this is uh, your bed area. So you're gonna have three nice open windows. Really, I mean, it, it opens it up in here, it really does, makes it feel a lot bigger. Uh, you're gonna have another little portable station for your uh, right portable radio here, mount for it. We've got us another TV up in here. And again, that's a smart TV, so you can bring your fire sticks or whatnot and plug them in if you wanted to. Well, smart TV, it's already got the apps on it, so no need. A little storage space. They're definitely not slacking on storage, that's for sure. Close that back up. Uh, let's see. Got your little curtain so you can separate, you know, that way your kids don't see you in here. You got a closet on each side of the bed. Nice size closet. It's going to be the hers and hers. She'll take both. Ask me how I know. Countertop space on both sides of the bed. And you'll notice that each side also has 110 outlets, USB outlets, and DC outlets. So that's good for your CPAP users. If you both have them, you can both plug in without running cords across the back of the bed. We'll pull out drawer. And it's going to be the same on this side pull out door and then underneath that's going to be where you turn your inverter on this does have an onboard 1500 watt inverter and then this is going to be your detailed battery monitor you have a switch over here where you can turn on your lights underneath the bed i know you're wondering if there's storage under there and if you're not wondering i'm about to answer it anyways Yes, so this bed does lift up for more storage. Check that out. What size are these TVs? 24. I knew it. I was right the first time. So you have two 24-inch TVs, and then your inverter is back in here. Easy to get to. If you need to turn it on, there is a switch on the side of that thing. And this is, you know, a very sizable mattress. So plenty for two. But uh, that kind of... That's kind of it. So, I need to go ahead and close this thing up since I'm leaving. It's got a Max Air uh, fan, has the built in uh, rain sensing on it. So, look at this headspace, too. I mean, you got plenty of walking room in here, plenty of headspace, not even having to worry about it at all. Walking out the door, if you don't scrouch down a little, you're going to hit your noggin. So, always kind of lower the head and walk on out. But, uh, Oh, I have the awnings out now, so you can see that. Look at this. No arms to walk into and knock your head off on. It's not really camping if you're not doing that, right? But uh, no, I actually love that, that the uh, awning arms are out of the way. But yeah, that's it on the uh, 2075. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. Something like that anyways. If you have any questions on, you know, uh, pull behinds, boats, truck campers, whatnot, needing to know what's going to work with your vehicle, just give me a call at 423-892-6272. Ask for Brad. I will help you uh, select the camper that's right for you. If you're on a budget, who isn't, right? I'll try to find you something that'll fit within your budget, whether it's new or used. I'm here to help. So, um if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do so we have grown to over 26,000 subscribers i'd like to keep it going 
even though I never thought I'd get 26 subscribers. So I am very grateful for all you guys. And thank you to my supers that continue to uh, help support this channel. It means a lot and I really appreciate what you're doing. Again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever on any campers or boats, just give Brad a call 423-892-6272 and my, uh, the rest of my contact info will be in the description below. Until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.